Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for the quick Wednesday update on one of the latest upcoming handheld devices. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video and listening to my ramblings about what's going on in the handheld gaming space. So today we're going to take a look at what we know about the price and release date of the Zotac Zone. For those of you that don't know, the Zone is a x86 Windows based handheld gaming console that will be released by Zotac. They are famous for their graphics cards, at least I know them for their graphics cards. It looks a lot like the Steam Deck. It's going to have an OLED display, dual trackpads. Some differences are that it has adjustable triggers, so you can have this like hair trigger response or more of an in-press where you can control things like speed. And then there will also be around the analog sticks, you're going to have this radial dial that they say will control things like volume and brightness. So those are some of the features on the Zotac Zone, which make it quite interesting. What do we know about the price? Well, it looks like it's been confirmed at around $800. Uh, the guys over at Tom's Hardware has got it down as $799. Uh, similarly, the guys over at PCGamesN.com have also confirmed it at $799. So it makes me think that I missed something. There's possibly an announcement on one of Zotac's official channels, but on their site, there's no announcement of price, but they do say that it is already available for pre-order in selected regions on e-retailer platforms. So I've done a search and I've been unable to find any listings for it. The guys over at PCGuide.com had the same problem, but they said that it should be available on Amazon, Best Buy, Newegg, b &H Home. So I did a quick search for that on those sites and came up empty. That could just either be because I'm in the wrong region or because it's possibly hasn't been listed as this announcement is barely 72 hours old. So the guys over at Tom's Hardware had some nice pics of it. This is a good view of it, so you can clearly see the similarities to the Steam Deck. The one thing is that the Steam Deck comes in at around $500. So I'm not sure how competitive this is going to be given that massive price difference. Another significant thing that has happened recently is that Valve has announced that they will be releasing SteamOS for the Asus ROG Ally, which means that the Asus ROG Ally will have all the functionality of the Steam Deck with a proper processor in it. This unit is going to have one of the latest AMD processors with a Radeon 780M graphics chip on it. So it might have slightly better performance than the Ally. Not sure about that. I doubt it. We'll have to wait for hands-on reviews and some benchmarking to see. But personally, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to make up that kind of value. We have the same problem with the Asus ROG Ally X, although reviewers are quite crazy about it at this stage. So I'd like to see what they say when they get their hands on this one. If you want to know more about the specs, you can click on the link on screen now to my overview on it. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next tech update.